हेलो यूट्यूब सो दिस इज़ माई हिमालयन बी एस थ्री दिस वॉज अ बाइक विच आई परचेज फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट लॉट एंड आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ यू गाइज माइट बी अवेयर ऑफ द इशूज़ एंड प्रॉब्लम्स दैट द बी एस थ्री एक्चुअली हैड हवेवर रॉयल एनफील्ड हैज़ बीन वेरी सपोर्टिव इन यू नो गिविंग रिप्लेसमेंट पार्ट्स एंड गिविंग अस द बेटर क्वालिटी एंड द लेटेस्ट बाइक पार्ट्स टू यू नो एंश्योर दैट वी डोंट फेस एनी काइंड ऑफ इशूज The only major issues that the Himalayan is generally faces is the magnetic coil. Otherwise, I don't see a lot of issues cropping up at least in the BS3 after all the upgrades. So practically, almost 70% of this bike parts have been replaced by Royal Enfield. Uh, so you're naming the oil cooler pipes, the engine head was replaced twice, the clutch assembly, uh, the handles, the visor, the speedometer. so the bike is actually done 20000 kilometers uh, odd and i got a replacement uh, speedometer at somewhere around 13000 so it's it's doing pretty well i've been using it on a regular basis what i wanted to show you guys out today are the mods that i have done for touring i specifically uses more of more for city use as well as touring so for the saddle bags i have actually uh got donovan's saddle bags uh saddle stays now this is almost 3 years old and you can see there's a slight paint chipping from these used it for at least 2 to 3 rides so far and um uh, they're pretty okay the pretty sturdy they have the support so it doesn't uh, the support really helps because it doesn't burn it doesn't touch the silencer and burns um i got the continental gt um brake uh, cover This is done by Heman Darbar Customs. The first uh, lot of uh, leg guards. He's got newer models. You can always go out and check out his channel. You can see the HDD Customs. Um, what I've also got are these fog lights. These are really amazing fog lights with lovely spread, uh, especially during the night time. Um, apart from these, these are the Continental GT. Um, mirrors very stable at high speeds uh, this is a speedometer this is again this is something that i picked up from frank zaid said uh, now you also get this on track and ride and i have bolt chargers fixed out here so these are pretty good especially while putting up a rhinox uh, mobile holder and it helps you navigate really well so these are a couple of the mods that i have actually done apart from this this also was reinforced by heman darbar uh, the um for the uh, for the top box the top box carrier um and what i have done is for the height which is a very important thing i have actually put a mrf meteor it's a 120 by 80 if you see this the original size is 120 by 90 but this sheds out around 10 mm of uh, height from the tire it doesn't make any huge difference in the uh, performance in fact the rear skid is also improved when applying hard braking the rear doesn't uh, skid out of place so which is a very good thing considering and this is available on amazon for 2 and a half thousand it's a tubeless tire however you'll need to put a tube inside the rim since these are spoke wheels as you can see um apart from this uh, this actually helps if your height is around 5 7 5 it helps a lot anyone above 5 8 i don't think so they need to put uh, the tire or if you really want to save up on cost and rather than putting the other brands this is a better option now as you see this was reinforced by himan darbar so this has a tendency of breaking on heavy load So this is the ASG head, uh, top box that I had earlier mentioned on the Royal Enfield Bullet, which I had fixed, and this is the additional carrier which I haven't fixed on that. So this again looks pretty huge on the Himalayan since it's quite tall, and uh, this is a cushioning. I put these bungee cords to hold it steady so that it doesn't vibrate when I'm doing speeds of around 80 to 100. Overall, the BS3. is quite uh, okay it runs pretty fine uh, the engine is pretty good uh, so far no not had any kind of um, issues with uh, the uh, engine the engine is pretty smooth the gearbox is pretty smooth after the upgrades 
Uh, the engine oil that I use on this bike is Motul 300V because that's the only oil that actually helps this bike uh, a lot uh, because it, it there's a lot of heat which is emanated uh, when you're in stop and go traffic. What I've also done is I've also put, a, put an iridium spark plug which also improves on the uh, on the uh, acceleration. Yeah, and this needs two liters of oil, so that is something that you guys should be aware of. I think the BS4 model needs lesser 1.7 liters of oil. I put a dual horn on this, uh, which also helps. I put these reflectors, so that it helps in touring. Apart from these, uh, I don't think there are any other mods that have actually done on the bike. Uh, yeah, if you could see, I put the gear lever uh, rubber, so it doesn't uh, damage my shoes the seat covers have been changed because somebody tampered with them a couple of times so i put new seat covers very easy quick job uh, what i what i would suggest is guys always use extra clutch carry extra clutch cables and tubes especially when you're traveling when you're going long distances and touring uh, the cone set on this bike frequently uh, gets damaged within you know four to six thousand kilometers the cone set bearings need to be changed so if you guys want to upgrade there are better quality bearings available in the market you can also get in touch with him in darbar uh, customs he's got some imported japanese made uh, bearings so i think that's pretty much it for today's review i hope you like it i hope you like the mods if you have any comments please put them down below and if you like the video do share like and subscribe. Cheers and have a great day. Bye-bye.